All right, so I want to put this video in context. Uh, me and Cosmo went back to the area that we've experienced those wood knocks where we've uh, camped out and, you know, just been putting a lot of time in. And so we were out exploring this area, this uh, dried up area, uh, this this marshland area that's that's dried up. So we we were out there looking for prints and, and kind of doing whatever we're doing. And, and uh, so we were out there for, I don't know, about a half hour, 45 minutes or so. And and uh, so we started getting back closer to the tree line and then we started to hear something in the tree line. And so we started walking back and and uh, this is a normal occurrence in this area. Every time I go out there, I, I there's always something that's walking in the woods there. And I'm not saying it's Bigfoot. I'm not saying anything like that. Uh, it could easily be a bear. There's there's bears in the area. Uh, there's there's deer. You know, uh, I, I don't think it was a person because uh, we're pretty remote and uh, I just pretty confident it's not a person. So, uh, you know, it's kind of just seemed like it was shadowing us. And so you'll see in the video when we kind of start to whisper is, is uh, uh, you know, we hear it. And so I get the bright idea of uh, trying to, to go and cut it off uh, to to, you know, kind of intersect it because we came down this old logging road to get where we're going and here's my big mistake is i should have set up some of my gear as soon as i got there as far as like uh, some of the gopros that i have and I have various cameras that i haven't been using as much as i should so i need to start being more diligent about that uh so in hindsight i should have set a camera in that area there and, and had it facing us you know just while we were out there. I mean, it was stupid that I didn't. I mean, completely stupid. So uh, I eventually uh, go try to, to cut it off. And um, and so you can hear it moving in the, in the woods there. And so we, we, we go try to cut off. And, and obviously, you know, I personally didn't see anything. I don't know if the, the video picked up anything. I didn't really watch it afterwards. Uh, so we, we go try and go where it was, where it was like walking or whatever, and, and we can't find anything. And this is the same area where we first initially heard the wood knocks, the same exact area. So, uh, you know, it's like, oh, whatever. And, uh, so, you know, we go as far as we can it, the undergrowth in this area, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty hard. It's, it, you can get so far and easily sprain and break an, uh, break an ankle. Uh, just kind of getting back in these areas. So, uh, you know, in hindsight, I should have, uh, you know, I should have flushed it, flushed it back towards the road. So it would have had to have crossed the road and I would have had that camera set up there and I could have had whatever crossed the road on camera and then boom. But so this is a good lesson of, you know, uh, you know, making sure all your shit's together while you're out there and, and, you know, be more diligent about it. So that's what this video is kind of about. You know, it's a, uh, it's a slow pace video, so it's not like a Michael Bay movie or anything like that. So, you know, we just eventually make our way down and around and, you know, I'm sorry for the phone picking up like the ambient sound that's close to me, uh, like the, the ground, you know, you can really hear me walking and uh it's it's really kind of unavoidable like i can i can get like carpet shoes maybe i don't know um and and you can hear me breathing too which was a, a fun treat so uh you know that's uh that's kind of what's going on in the video it's i like I say i don't know if there's anything in there i'm not saying this is a bigfoot uh you know it's it's most likely a deer or a bear or something because statistically speaking i'm sure that's what it is that's what it always is so uh, you know, I, I'm just posting that because, you know, it's just what happens when we're out there, you know, good, bad, you know, it's okay that it's, you know, you don't have to declare everything a Bigfoot or, you know, we, we track the Bigfoot through the woods or anything. It's just, it's, uh, it's whatever. So, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's like going along with us out there. And I know a lot of people can't, and, you know, they don't get to really see the, the woods that we're in and, uh, so this is a good opportunity for everybody to kind of get out and and you know see the the cascade mountain range and maybe run into a bigfoot or something and 
But, you know, check and see if there's a Bigfoot in there. Maybe there is. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. A Sierra Bear or something like that. Um, but, yeah, so it's slow pace, so no expectations or anything like that. Uh, something I want you to pay attention to, though, is the, the chipmunks because the chipmunks out there, they're, they're nature's uh, security system. Uh, you can hear what's walking in the woods in the video if you have headphones on and stuff. You can hear what's walking in there. And and so just go ahead and uh, you can hear the squirrels pick up on what's walking in the woods and giving it away and stuff. And so you can hear, you know, squirrels giving off their warning signs as it goes down the road or down the way there. So it's pretty interesting. So in conclusion, we did not find what was making those uh those 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 sounds as usual i mean i never find out what's what's kind of walking in those woods there and it always i mean i don't i don't know it, it just sounds like someone else walking and uh uh we're pretty remote so i i you know i i don't really feel that human is really a possibility i mean it's always a possibility but it's like a lower echelon uh so but and this is an area that's like it's got a lot of a lot of uh, reported activity, and I've had some interesting things happen out there, and nothing I could say is Bigfoot, uh, but, you know, I don't know, just enjoy the video. It's uh, it's fun. It's the North Cascades, uh, and it's uh, me and Cosmo just kind of trying to find what was uh, shadowing us in the woods, and uh, we did have a strange odor, of course, but uh, couldn't find out what was making that odor as well. Are they both related? can't say that uh they might be completely unrelated so uh, it's just what it is you know i just sit back and then enjoy the ride i guess huh
Yeah, that's cool, huh? This is where we were when we uh, had the, heard those wood knocks. Right here. Some of these prints might be ours. Now we're standing right on here. From wood knock. Came from up over here somewhere. Now you can hear it walking. Mm -hmm. It's not raindrops or anything. Nothing. Phantom.
I tore right through here. Sorry, I didn't even hear it. Mm -hmm. Quick, did not even hear him. Yeah. Especially if he hears us moving, he's like, oh, oh, oh. I'm sure they can move a lot faster than we can too. I mean, it had to have been walking closer to uh, the... Well, it could have been what we smelled over there. Yeah. It came around this way. Because well, we heard it over that way. Yeah. And then it came this way. Makes sense. Hmm. There might have been more than one also. I thought I heard like some over here, some over there, and then I heard a squirrel over here and a squirrel over there. Yeah, they started freaking out. I mean, that's when you can always tell something's uh, coming through. It works for you and against you. Yeah, that's a good sign. For, for gold? 